Hi friends, it's Belinda here from Bee Making Joy, and I'm doing this video to teach you how to make my blanket slippers. They're a quick and easy project. You can have your first pair done in a few hours. And if you like this project, please click the like button below this video and ring that bell so you'll be notified when the next project goes online. Now let's get started. Let me tell you about the first pattern I ever wrote, the blanket slippers. When I first set up my shop, I was making these physical slippers to sell before I decided that I wanted to focus on writing more and more patterns. These are a quick and easy gift. You can make your first pair in just a couple of hours. They're made with a super bulky yarn. I use burnout blanket yarn. It makes them so warm and soft and cozy, like wearing blankets on your feet. My written pattern contains sizing details for the whole family from babies all the way up to a men's size 14. So for those specific details, you can click on the link below to purchase the PDF of this project. It's very simple. We just knit a garter stitch rectangle and we sew it in the shape. <clears throat> if you need the very beginner instructions for casting on, doing the garter stitch and binding off, I have links to those videos below. So I used a pair of size 10, US size 10, 6 millimeter needles, and I cast on 24, 25 stitches for this size and knit to the length I need. And then we need to fold and sew. A tip, use a pair of very sharp scissors to cut this yarn, because once it starts to fray, it is hard to stop the fraying. Other than that, I really love this blanket yarn. The first part we're going to sew is our cast on edge becomes our heel. We're just going to weave our yarn back and forth across that seam. And then at the end of the row, we're going to thread our, just leaving it, smooth it out, thread our yarn through to the other side. Make a little knot there to secure. Then we're going to weave the tail back up that seam again to secure the ends and to uh, Hide that tail, making sure that we're not pulling it back through to the other side again. Now I could cut the tail here, but I think I'm going to weave it just a little more. Like I said, I am afraid of this blanket yarn fraying. If I now that's the heel. And then to do the toe, we're going to fold it like a business envelope in a three-fold turn. Three-fold fold, yeah. Like a business envelope. Thread that tail. Make sure we go through all the layers of that cast off edge. And then scoot our thread back over here. And sew up that in step. Now 
I really need to get used to working on a table if I'm going to keep doing these kind of videos. Then as we've reached the top, we need to come th through to the other side with our yarn. Secure it with a knot. And then weave in our end. I find the easiest way to do that is just for the follow is lying up bumps. And again, we'll cut it with very sharp scissors. So it won't fry. Now when we do the second flipper, we want to make sure that we're folding that three-fold fold in the opposite direction. We don't want two left feet. And then coming back through to the start of the instep. And we want to make sure we're doing the instep the same length that we did the first one. So sometimes I will put a safety pin there to remind me where they want to meet. through to the other side, secure it with a knot, and then weave in the ends. Now I'm still debating whether they go this way or this way, but the point is they would look funny if they both went the same direction. I think this way. And my daughter, when we made hers and mine, add we suggested we add a little button, a detail. I'll show you a picture of ours. And there you have it. Happy knitting.